Let's give a round of applause for Troy Kearns for making this all happen. <laughs> Guys, we're slated for an awesome weekend here. We have guest speakers that do a well diversified things within real estate, marketing, social media. There's gonna be a lot of value for you guys to get out of this. Uh, I'm excited to listen to everyone as well and hear their stories. Uh, the mingling that we're gonna have amongst ourselves as well, the connections, the community that we've created here, it's gonna be something that hopefully you guys can take home, grow your own individual businesses and help you guys accelerate what you're working on already. So, Troy, I'd like to introduce you and have you come talk to the people. I'd like to come talk to the people. Come on. <laughs> hey guys. We're super excited to have you guys all here. I can't thank you guys enough for taking this seriously. Real estate has changed my life. So first of all, one thing I like to do with these, uh, these uh, masterminds is I know everybody's a little uncomfortable. We don't know each other. So I'd like everybody to get up right now. Then I want you to come and hug a stranger. Okay? That's nice. I like that. All right. Bring it in. All right, now that the hugging's done, let's get going. You know, the old rule is, you know, pay off your home, work your job for 30 years, and then retire when your body functions no longer work and you can not chase your grandkids around. You're just too old. And we want to change that for you. We want you to retire young and rich. And if you're a little bit older, we want you just to retire a little bit younger than you were going to and rich. And the only thing that gets better with age is real estate and wine. Everything we do is patterned as human beings, literally everything. Some are subconscious, like your heart beating, your eyes blinking, right, your blood flowing, and some are conscious, meaning we put them in. Troy had brought up, we all have our issues, gambling, right, and, and things of that nature. All of that shit can be reversed, but just like with your self-talk and some of these limitations that we impose on ourselves, what's the first step, right? When you go to Alcoholics Anonymous as an example, what's the first thing they make you do? Admit you have a problem. Now, this permeates every aspect of our existence, y'all. Why? I talk to an average like realtor, right, in my field. Oh, how's business? Oh, business is great. Two or three questions later, they've sold two houses in the last year. I'm like, what the f do you mean business is good, bro? But that's the level of delusion that we have is we can't admit. And why, what does that stem from? Embarrassment. We fear criticism and judgment, which is why public speaking is one of the biggest fears for people. Being able to detach from people's opinions and criticism and judgment is one of the most liberating things you guys are ever gonna go through. Who, when they discovered what a wholesaler was, was like, what? Really? Are you serious? They don't even gotta buy the house? That business model is crazy to me. And I was like, all right, well, let's look and see what these wholesalers do. I looked up some hosts and like what I thought were really good wholesalers and who were some really good wholesalers. These guys were like driving nice cars, they're at the basketball games. And I'm like, that looks like fun. That looks better than being a flipper. That looks better than being a landlord. I decided to just try wholesaling. And I was really bad at it. <laughs> Cause I didn't understand sales and marketing yet. I was so bad at being a wholesaler. Like, uh, what was my man, Brendan? Brendan understands marketing. I'm gonna show you sales. Those two things will make you so much money on top of branding. Um, I want you to all do one thing for me. Can you just all stand up for me? Okay, then sit back down. Why did you do that? I told you to, right, but why did you listen? I influenced you to make a decision. You didn't have to do that. I didn't make you do that. I influenced you to do that. And the day that we live now, we are influenced by so many things. And that is the big power when it comes to how you can control behaviors. But chances are, you probably saw Troy. He influenced you, one of his ads, one of his content, you binge watched it, and he influenced you to get on that call to come here. So what we're gonna talk about today is we're gonna talk around influence, how you can build that influence, and how you can really build a following and really kind of build a brand. There's a lot of sacrifice. There's a lot of uh, belief in yourself that has to go on to uh, make it as an entrepreneur, and especially in real estate, because real estate's really, really hard. Everybody in here just heard amazing speakers this entire time. You're learning about the Burr method, you're learning about flipping, you're learning about protecting your assets, you're learning about all these great things, but what I recommend you do is niche down. You gotta learn something and learn it really, really, really well. So for me, that was gonna be sales and wholesaling. That was the baseline of my business. That was my key to getting out of the day-to-day -day grind and actually having some damn money in my bank account, because much like Henry, when I started, I had, I had no money. But once you get the bug, man, lean into it. You gotta, you gotta lean into that stuff. My name's Carter Howard. I do not wanna work in corporate America for the rest of my life. And I've been doing it for 15 years and uh, would like to work for me as soon as possible. And just me. I also have a son who um, I'd like to build generational wealth for and build a company. It's always been a dream of mine to hand my son uh, a company that has our name on it. Are you currently a part of the mentorship group? 
I'm not part of the mentorship group, no. Are you considering joining the mentorship group? I am, yes. Yeah. Are you? Especially after today. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. But I've looked at a few others, and um, I didn't get the, the authenticity from those that I do from here. What have you learned so far, and what has made you kind of lean towards wanting to join it? You know, I think it was more the inspirational side. I've done a lot of analytical work. Um, I've read all the books. I've watched all the YouTube videos. But knowing that you know, a regular Joe, you know, a guy with little background like me can get into it is something that I'm looking forward to. And I think what's most important in any business is the community that you involve yourself with. And um, I'm trying to elevate that. And you can see that in his mentorship program. I'm Josh Clark from Louisville, Kentucky. I was part of Troy's very first inaugural mentorship class. Um, I've been able to stay on with the program and help out as a junior coach, helping new students find their way. So far this year, um, I've completed four flips. I have two more flips uh, underway right now. I'm averaging uh, right at 62,000 per flip. And how many rental properties you got in your belt? Um, I've bought five so far this year, so that puts me at a total of six. Would you recommend mentorship to others? 100%. It's definitely uh, helped me find my way. Um, it's going to help me reach my my goal. What's your name? Eddie. Uh, I'm a part of Troy's mentorship group. How long have you been in the group? Probably a month and a half. And what have you accomplished since then? I uh, picked up my first deal, rental property, sub two. How old are you? 20. And how much did you pick it up for? Uh, it was around 7000 down. Really, I don't think without Troy, I would have been able to interact with the seller, you know, build a relationship, build a rapport with him as well as I did. Uh, my goal is just to keep growing my rental portfolio, just continue to grow. So this came out good, huh? I haven't even been in here in a while, so I had my wife pick up all the finishes and stuff like that. This is. You know what? We do a little bit more custom, unless we're doing like a, a really easy house. But all the colors are the same. We use a lot. Of, we'll use a lot of the same stuff. But right now we're not going like 20 flips at a time. We're doing like three or four. So it's, you don't need to go that much. This one was tight. Like, yeah, you look at the basement. That's all I looked at when I was down there. I was like, this one is tight. It was. So it's owned by the government. Yeah, it's a flat roof, but it's solid. The guy who bought it was gonna go and gut the whole thing. And I was like, this is rent ready. You guys, a lot of people would replace these cabinets. These are from the 80s. We just painted them. New countertop. That's what cost the big money, yeah. putting this thing in. Right, so that was $27,000 just to have it installed. Uh, yeah, this is one of our students befores. We found it for them. And yeah, and this is Ryan's, Ryan and Jeff's. You guys are refinishing the hardwoods? Yeah, yeah. That, that, that was a big win for us. Is he came here earlier this week and demoed a lot of the flooring out. We had a lot of LVP and other vinyls to, tucked throughout, right? And we found yeah. original wood floors all throughout the house. So we'll probably, you said you wanted to put wood in here as well. I would. Yeah, so Absolutely. we're going to demo out this plywood and we'll yeah. lace in the hardwoods yeah. here. Yeah. That way um, we can refinish this thing rather than doing LVP everywhere. Or, way, uh, way better. Yeah. yeah, and it'll save us about a thousand bucks from doing uh, an engineered floor. And people like it better. Yeah. yeah, and it's just a better look. And saves us a week. You know? And the reason you want to do one floor on a small house is it makes it look bigger. Beautiful. I'm Patrick. I'm Marisa. I'm actually a student of Troy's. And since joining, what have you added to well, right now I'm working on my first flip. So I uh, bought the house for 90, probably be around 55,000. Airbnb's probably somewhere around 230, 250. So. Recommend to others? Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially if you have uh, just don't know where to begin. I knew I wanted to invest in real estate. Just having somebody to go to, like Troy or any of the guys that are in the program, invaluable. It's paid for itself tenfold. Yeah, anybody who's looking to do a mentorship, I would highly recommend it.